What's up guys? Welcome back to Beyond Reality Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at some Vermilion tips. So some of you have had some questions I've seen posted in the group. I'm going to see if we can answer a few of those. I'm no professional, but I've figured a couple of these things out, I believe. I'm going to just share what I know. Not saying it's right, not saying it's wrong, just things I know. All right, so one of the things has been, how do I get heavy, thick paint in my paintings? Or how do they get, how, how, well, how do I suggest you do it? So let's just paint this black for the sake of a tip, all right? So this is a solid black. Let me just make this a little smaller so we can cover the whole thing. All right, so now you got a solid black. And the reason that's solid black is the canvas mixing sensitivity using this gear icon is all the way down to zero. And the paint thickness is all the way up on the brush, right? So whenever I load the brush, it's gonna really pile that paint in there. All right, so if you wanna get thick paint, I usually use this brush. And I, and I did a well with some water, and that's really where the thick paint kind of played, it's because it gave it depth. But thick paint, just like that. All right, so if I went in here and I turned this to the default, and still kept the paint all the way up, it starts blending, right? Turn it up. blends it out faster all the way up there's the difference all right so turn the blending all the way off because we want it to stand on top of the canvas you know put it up here let's see what this brush looks like So you can see when I get right in here that that paint, especially with a full brush, let's get full. Right? And if you just keep applying it over top of it, it makes it thicker and thicker and thicker. But once you get so thick, you start smashing it down. So a lot of times I'll use this for uh, like on my mountains. Uh, or with a palette knife. Let's load this a bit. All right, so you can kind of see how thick that is. Again, if I put it up to the default and do the same thing, load it up, but get it in full. I see the difference. So see, it's not nearly as rough as whenever it was full. Yep. So if I turn my paint thickness down, there's what you're going to get, right? If I turn blending or canvas paint mixing off, now it's as thick as it could be. Look how smooth that is by comparison. Right? That's actually kind of interesting to be honest. Hmm. All right. So we got us some clean canvas. Um, another thing was the ruler. All right, so we got a new update, the ruler feature. So the way you would use the ruler feature, um, Put this back. Get my line and brush here. Um, so if I wanted to use the ruler on your right controller, I'm right-handed. Uh, you take and press and hold the B button. When you hold the B button and move your controller and point it at the canvas, you get this line. Wherever you let go of that B button is where that ruler is going to stay. Now I can adjust it 
once I get it there by pressing the B button again. But as soon as I let go, it's going to stay. Sometimes I notice the brush acts a little funky. So maybe turn your ruler off, get your paint, then do the ruler. I wanted to make a straight line across the canvas. Right, close enough for this. That's how you use the ruler. I could take and turn that. And go any direction I want. Quick. Take the ruler off to get paint. Something about that. I've still got the beta version. I haven't uh, downloaded a new one. But making straight lines is that easy. All right, so as you see down here, when you get the ruler on, it comes up and says wrist support. So if you switch to wrist support, again, let's turn this off, get some paint. Wrist support is a little bitty line that comes up. And it's just a place to put your wrist, right? Let me grab my paintbrush here. So it holds your hand steady. So whenever I get up here, I can't really paint below that area. I'm trying to paint down here at the bottom. As you can see, as you can see that just kind of keeps your keeps your brush up here. I'm trying to pull it down. I'm gonna try and pull it straight down towards the black paint down here. You can see I cannot. I'm pulling. I'm pulling. You can see my hand right there. Look how far I'm pulling won't let me come down then all of a sudden it jumps down so that's just kind of a place to lay your hand while I'm while I was painting here you know, just kind of helps you keep you in that area I don't know that I'll really ever use that I haven't found some practical use so it really doesn't you can grab the brush back further and make it go up higher but I can't raise my hand my hand won't raise so right now I'm trying to raise my hand you can see it up here and look where the brush is so it's like it just keeps you locked in one area I can't really think of a good use for that but we can always turn it off and we can go back to you gotta shoot it with your laser to change it back to the ruler the ruler I will use I use it in horizons <laughs> I used it in uh, oh, what painting did I use it in oh this one right here I use the ruler here to get my horizon line uh, so it does have a, a good use from that perspective oh, let's see here I used it I used it in this painting whenever I first was demoing the ruler. So I used the ruler on the door, at the tops, the floor, on the fireplace, on the couch to line it out. Um, so the ruler works great, I like the ruler. But let's see here, what's, what else do we need? Uh, some of you had asked about painting circles. All right. So what I do, what you can do, is actually search circle. Maybe even circle silhouette. images all right so then we get us a bunch of circles you can choose any of them right so let's say this one what you can do once your canvas is white if it was green this wouldn't work but once it's white click on this projector right here let's say we wanted to use that circle 
if I put that back, I can size this image, right? I can make it big, I can make it small. So let's say I was gonna maybe make a planet or something, you know, let's paint space or whatever. I need a round circle. I like to use my liner brush at this point. Load it up. Make sure the settings are paint thickness all the way up. Mixing sensitivity all the way down. Press the B button. All right, the B button, what it's gonna do is it's going to give me a steady hand, but it's also gonna snap to that black that you see there. It's not gonna snap perfect. It still gives you room for error, but it absolutely helps you stay on the outline of that right there. So you, you'll be able to see, follow the tip of the brush. Once you get on it, and if you do light strokes, just barely touching the canvas, uh, it comes out much better. I'm just kind of keeping me in the hemisphere, thereabouts of it. So. That's how I make my circles. Now I can come back and I could actually clean it up and I could actually do better than that with that circle, uh, to be honest. But that gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. So with paint mixing off, let's say that was your circle there, all right? What I would do, I would come back I'd have another color here. Let's say the color on the outside was white. Paint mixing is still turned off. But that's how I would come back and work on taking care of that. Taking care of that circle, right? I just trim off what I don't want. I may even have to come back over it with black. To get what I actually want to end up achieving. I shake like I got Parkinson's disease, so you don't want to use me as an example for a nice clean circle, but that is how you would make it using vermilion, because it absolutely will snap. See right there, press B to disableize, or to disable hand stabilizer. Well, when you shake your nail, you need all the doggone help you can get. So, anyway, that's that. Uh, let's see, was there anything else that you guys wanted to know? Oh, how to get your own reference images, say your family members, whatever, the kids, the grandkids. So what I do is you can go into search right here. Click on the search. I'll search Facebook because that's where I would have to put my pictures. Just click on Facebook. You go ahead and log in, sign up. I've already done this, so you'll have to log in. It'll take me straight into my my page. Actually, just just like I, if I got on a computer, there's my granddaughter. She graduated yesterday from kindergarten. So proud of you, Bradley. Uh, but let's say there's there's your reference image. Well, there it is. So, let's see. Let's, so if I can click on start a new painting. Yes. there turn the projector on there she is put this down I can blow her up I can center my picture Ta -da. grab my brush and I would be oh, I would be totally ready to paint this picture of my granddaughter We won't paint it tonight. I'm just giving you guys an idea of how this works. So I usually just line everything out. So again, that's with the B button. It totally kind of helps you stay on the outline of what you're doing. I do believe. I could be wrong, but it sure seems like it to me. And you can almost notice it when you get right up here on it. 
you can watch the paint like it you see the paint jump that's like it it jumps to it um, like right here see if you can see it jump I'm trying to make it jump I usually notice it more when I have paint mixing off usually notice it when you have very big contrasting colors, white and blacks. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it don't. But you can see how it sticks to that white. Anyways, that's how I do that. Um, what else you guys like to know? That might be about it for right now. Uh, but that's how I get my images. So I could actually just click on my profile. It's going to take me into my page. I can go into my photos. And I could pull up any photo I want. <clears throat> I like racing race cars, just so y'all know. I've been painting fish lately. Maybe I'll paint one of my catfish anyways that's how you do this guys i hope you learned something today and be sure to like and subscribe and i'll do some more tutorials anyways peace out thank you for watching